Hello, Shawnee, here now, uh, again in Krakow, Poland, and I'm standing here with Andre, who has very kindly said that he'd say a few words. His, his girlfriend, Anna, is standing over there, and she, she, but, but she doesn't want to appear on screen, so that's fine, no problem at all. Uh, we have the reflection of St. Florian's Church here in the background. Um, but uh, it was too bright to, to show it on the video. So because we were blacked out, you couldn't see us at all. Now, uh, Andre, you, you, you can understand my accent well, can you? Pretty well, yeah. Surprisingly pretty well. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm from Kerry, as I, as I, uh, as I explained. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, people are people are well able to understand me. No, so uh, you you uh, you use the internet. Do you use the internet yourself? Not really. Not really. Sometimes. Right, right. You're you're a man. You're a man after my own heart. Uh, that's that's. Uh, I I congratulate you on your uh, your stoic ability to, uh, to to stay away from this demonic demonic idea that's that's just uh, taking over society now um so you wouldn't mind at all if it was gone not really not really only government should be able to use it it's not for people yes yes gov government government know how to run things we should be giving over i mean democracy is is only an old excuse. Sure, when we when we go to vote, sure the, we don't we don't get to vote in people who will make changes anyway. So what's the point? Um, now, uh, have you heard of Article Thirteen? No. Right, right. Oh, really? Okay. So Article Thirteen is uh, it's basically a way. No, it's called the Copyright Directive, but you know yourself, it is, it is actually a means of shutting down the internet, which is, which is, which is a great, great thing, great thing. Now, um, and on top of that, uh, do, have you heard of um, John claude Juncker? Who is it? Who is it? Right, John claude Juncker now, um, comes from, hails from Luxembourg. And he is the president of the European Commission. Ah. Yes, and the thing, one of the interesting facts about John Claude Juncker is that he likes a drink, uh, a lot of drink, uh, and he appears in public. You can check it out on that, uh, on that uh, YouTube thing. Uh, he appears in public, falling around like some sort of rag doll. In uh, people holding him up, uh, trying to not look too embarrassed, and uh, you should check it out because it is quite entertaining. Uh, he, he also assaults politicians on camera, slapping them across the face. But and well, 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 hold on. But you said that he's a politician also, or not? He, he's a quite no. He's not really a politician because he's not voted in. He 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 uh, governs our lives from a distance, but nobody voted him in. It is kind of like another system you might have heard of uh, uh, that they used to have in Poland here, which is uh, the old communism. Uh, it is tis very it uh, is very like that, uh, which is a great is a great uh, system. Um, the great president Boris Yeltsin was also drunk on TV. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And, and so was Polish President Kwasniewski. Kwasniewski. And I, I, I'm not familiar with him. Was he... Uh, wh what was he? Was he a communist? Or was he, was he a socialist? Or you don't... You don't... You don't... Okay, fair enough. Now, um, the thing is... What's my, nec what's my next question now? Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember my... I've lost... I've lost my train of thought. Oh yes, the last, the last thing, and I promise not to keep you any longer. Uh, Guy Verhofstadt. Have you ever heard of Guy Verhofstadt? What is it? Is it a person? Is it a town? 
Is it a he? So it's a person. Good. Giver Hofstadt uh, is another. He's a man from uh, Belgium. He was the he was the prime minister of Belgium, I believe, for some time. And he's a he's a politician who stands up a lot in the European Parliament, uh, giving out about things like Brexit, and uh, but he also tells people he's a great man to tell people what to do. Uh, he wags his finger a lot. In fact, I reckon that if 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 Hitler were alive today and he saw Giver Hofstadt. In action, he tell him to calm down, because he's that he's that kind of a man. He's a little bit over the top, you might say. But uh, anyway, I, like, that really, uh, d d d you know, the last last question there. I said I'd ask you about. Uh, we're standing here with the reflection of uh, quite an interesting uh, building there, Saint Florian's Church, and uh, it's quite ornate and quite interesting um have you have have you had any uh, churches going on fire in poland that you know of uh, lately lately no right 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 so zero zero churches going on fire now do you know uh, do you know how many churches went on fire in france in the last 12 months Roundabout, or did you hear anything about it? Or did you hear there was at least one? List, list one. At least one. Oh, at least that's right. That's right. Uh, you had, um, you, uh, yes, you had the the big the big one in uh, in Paris. That's it's right. Not no, to hear about it. yes, not Notre Dame, but uh, even without watching the internet. Yes, even without the internet. Um, but it was uh, a week previous to that, St. Sulpice was the door was set alight, uh, and so it was a deliberate action. So the door was set alight in St. Sulpice, which is a big, big church in Paris, too, uh, a week beforehand. But there's no news of that. Um, now, so there have been 876 burnings of churches in France, just France alone in the last 12 months. So that's just an interesting fact I thought I'd, I thought I'd tell you, uh, just in relation to the old free speech thing. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, no, 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 no. Free speech is, free speech is overrated. We don't, we don't need no free that. free speech, no internet, no porn, no nothing, no news. No, 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 no. But listen, uh, listen, thank you very much for your time. And I hope you will visit bandyinternet.org. Uh, we're, we're doing a revamp of the website. Now, explain that whole thing. It will, the idea is that it will be the last, last website left on the internet before the internet is finally shut down. I think the only...